On today's edition of the Dingwall Academy, we're taking a crash course on slapping, popping, and double thumb. Slapping and popping, or thumping and plucking as it's referred to by some, is a technique pioneered by the legendary Larry Graham. Though the technique originated on the upright bass sometime in the 1920s, it was Graham who took it to new frontiers with the electric bass. Soon after, slap bass became the hot new trend in music, finding its home on records all throughout the 70s and 80s with players like Marcus Miller, Lewis Johnson, Mark King, Flea, and so many others keeping the slap bass flame alive. Enter the Wooten brothers, particularly Victor Wooten, who flipped the bass world upside down, literally, with a thumb technique he picked up from his brother Reggie. By incorporating hammer-ons, plucks, and an alternate picking thumb, Victor pioneered what we call the double thumb technique. <laughs> Another cool variation of this technique was developed by session legend Doug Wimbish, but we'll touch more on that later. In this video, I'll cover the basics of slapping, popping, and double thumb, and as usual, share a few tips to help you get comfortable with these techniques. Without further ado, let's go. All right, the first attack we're gonna talk about is the slap or thump. If you think of slap bass like a drum kit, this would kind of be the kick drum. Simply strike the string with the thumb. If you want the note to ring out, attack the string with a flicking motion and release. To dampen the note, mute the string with your left hand or simply rest your thumb on the string after striking it. A great way to practice this is to take a simple and familiar bass line normally played with a different technique and execute with the slap. Whatever you decide to play, make sure there's a groove to it. Slap bass is all about bounce and feel. If it doesn't feel right, be patient and keep working on it. Also, be sure to skip strings in this exercise as it will improve your accuracy in the long run. Next we want to incorporate the pop or pluck. This is the snare drum to our slap bass drum kit. With your index or middle finger, hook the string and pull away from the body. This will pretty much always sound cool. My favorite exercise to get comfortable with slapping and popping is taking a 4-4 drum groove against a metronome and replicating it on bass. In this instance, the notes don't even really matter. If you do this right, you'll notice your head start to bob to the beat. This is what it's all about. From there, it's all about maintaining this pattern while filling the meter with different attacks. But remember, the groove is the most important thing here. If you begin to lose your bounce, dial it back and get that groove back on track. Now that we got our basic slap down, it's time to get to the fancy stuff. Double thumb is by far the technique I get asked about the most. And to be fair, I use it quite often in my band Allegion, and it's become my go-to technique anytime I want that tremolo pick sound. Now there are countless videos on the internet about how to do this, but I'm gonna show you the way I teach my students. We aren't too concerned about the notes at this point, so just mute those strings with your left hand. Instead of striking the intended string, in this case our low B, strike and rest on the string directly below it. We're not hitting the low B at all yet, just merely thumping on the string below our target. Once comfortable with this motion, start hitting the low B on your upstroke. Remember, no notes here, just muted strings. We want to hear a up-down tick-tock type effect. Now the fun part. We want to strike the low B on our way down. Keep in mind, all we're doing is landing on the string below our target, but we want to hit our target on the way down and on the way back up. Make sure you stay on beat for this and take it slow. After getting the sounding nice and tight, you can begin to incorporate notes. Again, be patient and take your time with this. I promise you'll get it down. The cool thing about the double thumb is that it gives you two notes for the price of one motion. But what if we want more notes? Not a problem. If you did your homework, your double thumb should sound pretty good at this point. So now let's add a hammer before the double and maybe a pop or two after. Now you're getting four or more notes for the price of one. Pretty cool. Earlier in this video, I mentioned a really cool variation on double thumb developed by Living Color bassist Doug Wimbish. Let's check that out now. So 
it's not technically a double thumb, but it does utilize your thumb and it kind of gives you a similar effect. I believe he calls this a flamenco slap, but in any case, here's what that looks like. Strike a muted string with your index finger and pluck the same string with your thumb as you pull away. Additionally, you can strike one string on your way down and another string on your way up. You can also use your remaining fingers to strike or plug other strings. So there you have it, slapping, popping, and double thumb. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today here at Dingwall Academy. If you like these lessons, please like and subscribe to this channel. We have tons of great content coming your way. My name is Brandon Michael, and until next time, keep shredding.